This morning's coffee with us with Patrick Duffy. And the satellite interview is furnished by Hulu. Actor Patrick Duffy, welcome back to Baltimore. You were just telling us you were here, <laughs> what, three weeks ago? Yeah. About, yeah. Yay, woohoo! Woo so you were in town for the nostalgia convention. Tell us about that. Yeah. Well, it's a, you know, first of all, it just means a bunch of old actors getting together. <laughs> but, you know, and that's kind of fun, too, because I'm, I'm fans of everybody that was also there. But it's a chance for people who have watched things like Step by Step uh, to come back, reacquaint themselves, and show their appreciation. And it was, a, it was very satisfying, I must say. I, sometimes you hear these things and there's a bit of trepidation, like, oh, what's it going to be? There was nothing but such enthusiasm for shows of this era that uh, Hulu's doing, which are the, the whole TGIF lineup. So there's an audience out there, and there's an appreciation out there. And, you know, it's satisfying as a participant in a show with a lot of other wonderful actors that it stands the test of time, that it's still viable. And uh, that makes me feel pretty good. This is a big deal. All of our favorite shows from the 90s are now available on Hulu. This is more than 800 episodes. Step by Step, your show, of course, Full House, Family Matters, Perfect Strangers, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. These are fantastic shows. I've watched all of them when they were, you know, on TV years ago. Of course you did. They were your babysitters. You know, you could, <laughs> you could literally put a child down on Friday night in that time block and walk away. You never had to, you know, peer over their shoulder to see what the content was of, of what was going on. And it was a wonderful hammock. We called it when, when Step by Step started. The other shows had been on the air. Hanging with Mr. Cooper came later. But the other shows were already on the air and established an audience, and they put us right in the middle. And we said, oh, my God, it's like a hammock. We're just being held by these other shows, and then you get your audience, and you live on your own merits. And, and we got seven years of blissful work, you know, with our best friends. Tell me, does the cast still get together, and how often? We don't get together like a reunion, although there have been a couple of times where, you know, on the Internet and on Facebook and all those other medias, we just say, you know, Everybody want to get together and have lunch down at the whatever, and whoever's in town goes. Um, but also because of the internet, you know, I'm talking to Suzanne, if you can call typing talking, uh, <laughs> regularly. She is my dearest friend from that era. And uh, so there is communication, if not uh, meetings. Could you imagine um, a reboot of Step by Step because we have Fuller House now? Actually, I can, um, and I've learned over the years to never say never. Um, you know, to, it would be it would be odd if we got every single person to agree to come on the show. But we had such a warm, family, uh, joyful seven years that the desire would be there, if not the opportunity. So yeah, I could see it happening. It'd be interesting to see where those children of you know the the 90s uh, exist as adults and then uh, have them come back so uh, and i would love to just uh, you know keep grabbing suzanne and kissing her in the kitchen <laughs> it was such a fun it was show. a great job i know you had a great job and now that it's on hulu fans of it in the past will get to revisit it but a whole new audience right. who never watched it is going to get to experience all these fantastic shows Right, and and again, it, it does stand up. Um, these things don't happen if they're old or tired or, or insignificant in terms of the humor that you do, but they stand up, and, and it's time. And I think a lot of new product doesn't have that ready-made chemistry, so this is a perfect opportunity for people to discover, you know, what was good about television in the in that era and uh, we're a part of it that whole lineup that you just listed from hanging with mr cooper and family matters and all those uh, perfect strangers brilliant uh, duo comedy uh, it's all great and uh, i'm actually i'm going to look at it i'm going to watch myself you are you're going to rewatch some of the episodes uh, yeah. you have a favorite one that you're looking I, forward to revisiting I, you know, I loved everything. Listen to me. I loved everything I did uh, <laughs> because it, it was a chance to do things. You know, I did two years of Atlantis and 13 years of Dallas, and I think I smiled twice uh, in that time. And then I got step by step, and I got to do Pratt Falls and do comedy and slapstick and 
just have the most enjoyable frivolity for seven years. So yeah, every episode was fun because it was a chance to do something I never had the opportunity to do before. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for joining us to talk about it. I'm glad to have you in the city a few weeks ago. Thank you, Lynn. I'll come back. Yes, come back for the next convention and please let us know when you do. I'm going to come to CBS. Sounds great. We'll see you here then. <laughs> okay. So hashtag TGI Hulu, everything now available online.